This is Everything Braces Isn't, eating the foods you love, life uninterrupted. Invisalign. Welcome back. Our final story tonight features the weightlifting sisters from San Francisco. Allie Williams is here now with their story of heavy lifting and family ties. The pandemic has taken its toll on everyone, and athletes everywhere have to find ways to keep themselves inspired without all their teammates. For the Monomoa sisters, having a built-in training partner has motivated them more than ever. In a year where the pandemic has closed schools, gyms, and more, it's nice to have a built-in workout buddy. For Nini and Salome Monomua, the sister bond turned into training partnership came at just the right time. Quarantine started, I, have, I wasn't training that much. And then I kind of noticed that I took weightlifting for granted. As months go by, I realized that like I really do love weightlifting and, and I want to get better. My sister started coaching me and ever since, like, two months ago, my training has been better. Salome's older sister, Nini, introduced her to the sport. Nini graduated from Lincoln in 2018 and is a junior at San Francisco State. She began weightlifting in her freshman year at Lincoln. Since then, she's ascended to the top of the talent pool. And a few years ago, Nini and Salome both chose to switch from Team USA to Team Tonga. It feels good to, like, represent your country because Team Tonga, there's not like a lot of athletes who go to the Olympics for Team Tonga. The girls have three other siblings. Nini, the oldest, was born in American Samoa, and Salome, the second youngest, was born in Hawaii. But both grew up in Tonga until they moved to San Francisco in 2010. Nini has Olympic dreams for 2021. Over a span of about a year and a half, she competed in six competitions in order to qualify for the Olympics. In her first international meet, she hurt her knee that injury lingered. And my first international meet, I actually caught a clean and jerk wrong. That's when I first started representing Tonga, and that's when I started having knee problems. Um, I actually found out like June when <laughs> I heard like a loud pop while front squatting. It was, it was crazy, it was pretty scary. I actually fractured my patella because we never got the time to like rest. You know, we did every single rehabilitative you know uh, methodology we could we could take advantage of and it was extremely frustrating to see someone like nini like put in all this like effort you know and, and emotional effort into it deep inside it's just been um very emotional for me just ups and downs our goal is not to rush nini back um, but we do know that we want her to to go to the Olympics and compete well and feel proud of herself. And we, we've used February as a marker to say, if we can get you healthy by February, we can have a really good training cycle leading up to the Olympics. If Nini heals in time and receives one of the coveted Olympic invitations, she would compete as the first female Olympic weightlifter from Tonga. You know, for someone like Nini, she has a really strong attachment to, like, to her heritage and to her ethnicity and to her culture, and I think it's such a cool opportunity for her to like make that connection like while living in America. During her recovery, Nini also has a new title of coach, helping younger sister Salome make big progress this year. Salome had a slower start to weightlifting, but says Nini has helped her gain discipline, even if it comes with some sister squabbles. At first it was rough. <laughs> um, me and my sister had like our little fights and like, I sometimes don't want to listen to her. I kind of see myself in her too, so we kind of have the same um, character qualities. So it's kind of like me arguing against myself. I'm kind of stuck with my sister. I have to go everywhere she goes. <laughs> Tradition. Salome has competed in the Youth National Championships twice and is training for her third trip next month. While quarantining with siblings can take its toll, the sisters are closer than ever, and a big part of that is thanks to weightlifting. Hold it, hold it. She's progressed a lot. Um, I can honestly say she's progressed a lot more than like the last month or two months than she's ever had. And I'm super proud of her. My sister's actually one of the reasons why I've actually wanted to take weightlifting seriously. My parents, they've always taught us that by the end of the day, it's only gonna be us. Like, that's gonna be there for each other. Like, I know we have a lot of friends and stuff like that, but um, the only true person that's there is our siblings. They'll have the sport and their family bond as they push each other to be the best athletes and the best people they can be. 
Salome will compete in the National Youth Championships next weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, and Nini will be there to support her little sister. Then it's back to work as Nini keeps trying to get back to full health by February. That's awesome. Very good. That would be, that would be great. Thanks, Sally.